Hey, what's going on, guys? Me, Matt here. Um, this is gonna be episode four of my um virtual DJ tutorial series. Um, this tutorial is gonna be over crossfading and um also known as cutting. So as you can see, I have two tracks already loaded into the um two decks. Um, now the most important thing of crossfading is lining up the tracks to um drop at the exact same time. Now, in order to do that, you have to make sure that both first of all both tracks are the exact same um BPM. Um, as you can see, this I had to click the um the restore button to make sure that I mean to bring this back to the original. Um, this track is 145.06, and this track is 140.06. Um, I think that most dubstep tracks should be 140, just because that that's a good BPM for dubstep. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the sync button again, and um to make this track 140. So as you can see now, they're both the same. All right. So um you wanna the first thing you wanna do is find two tracks that match up um, they have to sound somewhat the same at the drop um, I found um, Shotzi Blossy by Megalodon and Hyper Beam by Eptic now um so the first thing you want to do is make sure that in um, is find the drop of each song so I'm going to go ahead and find the, for the drop of the song first so the drop is about right here um, you want to set a, you want to put it exactly on the line. You want to set a cue point there. So let me go ahead and test it out. The cue point. So the cue point works good. Um, now let's go ahead and do the next track. Um, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Hyper beam. So the drop of this one's right about right here. Set a cue point there. So you want to um. So now you have two cue points on both. You have a cue point on both tracks at the drop. You can see the two arrows right here, the blue and the blue and red one. You want to put the arrow right on the on the center line right here, and put the arrow right in the middle of it, um, for both tracks. So you should, if they're lined up perfectly, you'll only be able to see one um arrow just like this. Now you want to hit um your start um start button and open up your calculator. Um, each Windows seven or each Windows um. Operating system already has one pre-installed. So with your calculator open, you want to um, get the elapsed time of each drop. This one drops at exactly 27.5. This one drops at exactly 55. So you want to do 55 minus 27.5. Um, just subtract the elapsed time with the drop and hit equals. Now 55 minus 27.5 is 27.5. So whichever track is longer, that's um you're gonna take the other track and start that one first. So you start this one you start this one at twenty seven point five. So let's go ahead and go back to twenty seven point five. You wanna find the exact number and um set a cue point right there. Um I'm gonna do cue point number two. <coughs> now you wanna get the other track, the opposite track, and bring it to the very beginning. Um um, and you want to put the long, the long line right on the, um, right on that, on the bullet long line. So, they're lined up just like that. Now you want to bring the crossfade over. And, um, P on your keyboard starts the track on whichever PFL is selected. So if this, if I hit P while the blue PFL is selected, it's going to start the track. But, um, if I have PFL selected on the red track, it'll start that track. So, go ahead and put it back. Alright, so now both tracks are lined up. Now you want to select um, the the red PFL, um, the part that the song that you're gonna start first, and you're gonna as soon as you hit P on your keyboard, you're gonna hit um, the number two hot cue on the um, hot cue thing. So you're gonna do P and then click at the same time. So one, two, three. Now once the track starts, you're gonna go ahead and hit sync on the on the blue track. And you're gonna find a beat to slowly um, start bringing it the putting the crust in the middle. Alright, so as you can see, both the tracks drop at the exact same time. I'm gonna go ahead and restart the track and show you how to crossfade now. Uh, 
so we're good. Alright. So, now whenever you're crossfading, what crossfading is, is basically taking um, the crossfade and um, bringing it to both tracks over uh, back and forth. And it sounds badass. You have to have two tracks that sound um, somewhat alike. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a sample of what I'm, we're going to be doing just to sh um, give you an idea. So, let's go ahead and send the tracks. Alright, so that was a little sample. Um, that's pretty much my, t my tutorial, guys. Um, this just takes lots of practice, crossfading. Um, you're not going to get it right at first. I remember I always got very frustrated whenever I first started doing this because I could never um, get it right. But um, you have to kind of just play around with the tracks um, and you'll eventually get it. So that's my tutorial, guys. Um, stay tuned for um, episode number 5 coming up next. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.